Hello sir, good morning. This is Jara Fortaleza and today I'll be doing a um, surgical scrub procedure. Uh, usually we're doing this procedure uh, prior to um, you know uh, going in for a surgery for a patient or assisting a doctor in a sterile field. So usually we do this procedure uh, in an operating room. Um, that way we're free from microorganisms as much as possible and we maintain a sterile environment. So first I would like to do my assessment. So for my assessment, um, I would like to check my sink. Um, just make sure that you have a leg, uh, a foot pedal or an infrared actuator sensor. Usually in the hospital setting, um, we don't have the, the faucet that you turn it. Um, usually we have some sensors that you could just, you know, put your hands um, and then it's gonna, um, the water is gonna flow out. So um, just make sure you have that. And then just make sure you also have your um, surgical brush. Um, usually it is provided, assuming this is my surgical brush, um, this is provided by the hospital, it's very sterile. So you just open that pack and then that's your surgical scrub, um, surgical brush, and then um, an antiseptic solution. Usually it's betadine. Um, usually um, in a kit with the surgical brush, there's already an antiseptic solution in there. Um, so you just wanna you know, use that um, with your brush. And then um, definitely you would like to have a, a liquid soap. Usually it's um, mounted on the walls and it's um, also um, activated by sensors. That way you don't touch anything when you're doing this procedure. So, um, and also definitely you would like to have enough knowledge for you to be able to successfully do this procedure um, in a sterile environment. Uh, you would like to maintain a sterile technique, um, a sterile environment as much as possible. So um, just make sure that you know your surgical hand washing technique. So for my hand, for my um, nursing diagnosis, um, for my nursing diagnosis, it's um, risk for infection related to um, improper aseptic technique. You don't want to um, pass on any germs or microorganisms to the patient. That's why you would like to make sure that you know what you're doing when you're doing this procedure. So for the outcome, um, definitely the patient will uh, be free or will remain free of infection after the surgery. So um, you will later on evaluate um, your post-operative procedures. Um, so for my intervention, um, you would like to um, definitely go to the surgical sink and then you just wet your arms. Let's just say I activated the, the faucet using my uh, foot pedal or a sensor. So assuming that I already opened it and then just rinse your, um, um, your hands and your arms to your elbows. So until like three inches below the elbows, you would like to rinse that area. So after rinsing this, you would like to um, get your surgical brush and make sure that you um, rinse it and then apply some soap on this um, surgical brush assuming um, I've already um, you know put some soap and um, start start using your dominant hand and um, scrubbing your non-dominant hand so in this procedure you would like to start on your fingertips and your nails Usually you do this like 30 strokes. So assuming we already finished um, 30 strokes in this finger, we would like to move on to the next finger. So just make sure that you brush and um, scrub your fingernails and your, your fingertips um, uh, 30 strokes. So I've already done 30 on that, 30 on this, 30 on this, and then 30 strokes on my um, non-dominant um, finger, last uh, finger nails and fingertip. So after doing that, um, you wanna move on on your sides of the fingers. So you would like to do 20 strokes on this area. So just make sure that you scrub it really well, 20 strokes on each one, 20 strokes, and then 20 strokes, 20 strokes, so make sure you do a circular motion, an inward to outward um, circular motion. Um, that way you, um, you, know, you eliminate um, some bacteria from um, being there. So I do the 20 strokes and then on the palm of my hand, you do the 20 strokes as well. So assuming I already did my 20 strokes, so inside and outside, 
and then at the, the side of my hand is a 20 strokes as well so just make sure you're doing the um, scrubbing motion inward and outward and then the side and then the back of my hand is 20 strokes as well so assuming I finish all my 20 strokes on each side on each um, part of my hand um, on your arm just divide it into three and on the first third of your arm you would like to do a 20 stroke so make sure you do it inward and outward inward and to outward circular motion and then move on to the next two third 20 strokes again and then on the last third of your arm is uh, 20 strokes and then your elbow is at 20 strokes. So assuming I already finished my 20 strokes and you're usually uh, about three inches about the elbow, you would like to scrub that area as well for 20 strokes. So assuming I've already scrubbed everything. Now I would like to um, rinse my brush, then apply a soap again. And then now do my dominant hand. So using my non-dominant hand, I would do the same thing on this arm. This is my dominant hand. So fingertips, 30 strokes. 30 strokes on each one. Fingertips and fingernails, 30 strokes, 30 strokes. And then sides of my fingers, 20 strokes. Then 20 strokes. 20 strokes. Circular inward outward position or uh, motion and then 20 strokes as well so i've done my finger sides of my fingers for 20 stroke each finger and then now the sides of my my hand 20 stroke 20 strokes and then the palm of my hand is 20 strokes and then the back of my hand is 20 strokes then now my arm three third uh i've divided into thirds so one third is 20 strokes so assuming that's 20, this is 20, the two-third, and the last third is 20 strokes as well. And then I do my elbow, 20 strokes. And then ab about three inches above my elbow is 20 strokes. So now my arms are scrubbed. I would like to position, rinse my, br my, my brush, and then Go ahead and rinse everything from your hands to your arms to the elbows to the above the three inches of the of the elbow and then this one from the fingertips to the hand to the arm to the elbow. And then after doing that you would like to drop your brush on the sink. And then when you're done here, maintain your upright position and then you're ready. Turn off the usually the faucet is going to turn off on its own and then you're ready to go to the operating room so you just go here and then pretend that there's a door behind me so step into the door using your back and then the circular nurse is going to get ready for your towels and she he or she will give you some towels to dry on and you can dry them from the finger to the elbow and on the other hand as well and then you could prepare to don on your surgical suit. And after that, um, after all this procedure, um, after the surgery for my evaluation, you would like to observe the patient post-operatively between two to three days after the surgery to see if there's any signs of um, localized wound or infection and then document all your findings. So thank you, that will be all for my surgical um, scrub technique and have a good day.